right now I'm not moving. But if I move a single step even like this, it will start sensing me and will give alarm and the light same time. So see, it is working in all directions. For example, I am standing over here. If I'm moving, and if I'm not moving, I'm standing still. So it's not sensing me. But if I move even a single step, it's gonna sense me. Check it again from this direction. See, only one step I move and it sensed me. Okay, one step more. Okay, now let me change the direction. Now I'm standing just in front of it. I'm not moving, standing still. Okay, let's move a step like this. See what happened? Yeah, it's it's definitely sensing me in all directions. It's working in all directions. For example, upward, if I just, I'm not moving my hand, it's still, if I move my hand over here, see, it is working in all directions. There's nothing attached with this. I'm gonna switch off this. This sensor's name is RCWL516 sensor. It works on the Doppler, Doppler shift and Doppler principle that we have studied in the physics. If you are studying in uh, FSC, in you know, in FSC part one physics, you have already studied, or if you are studying in um, O levels or A levels, you might have studied about the Doppler principle. You know, what is a Doppler principle? Whenever there is a relative motion between the source and the observer, so there is a, um, a Doppler shift in the frequency, like there is a parent change in the frequency. So this module works on the same principle. So in this particular demonstration video, I'm going to show you how this works. And then I, I, I've made this gadget using this module. So I have used this module over here. You can see over here, it's, it's a very tiny, it's a very tiny kind of thing. You can see that it's quite like uh, like it's quite easy to hold you can hide it in your hand also and it's, it, it is having a low weight there is a space for few components on this chip like here you can attach some a capacitor to increase the uh, like trigger time if you are adding or uh, here the resistor or uh, like where it is written g uh, r g n here you can attach a resistor one mega ohm resistor to reduce the range uh, and this CDS or CDS is for attaching LDR light dependent resistor if you are attaching LDR over here So what's gonna happen? It basically it would work in the darkness only and it would not work in the place where there's a light All right, so in the light place you cannot use it if you are uh, just adding over here the LDR So if you are using without LDR, so it would definitely work in both cases like in darkness and in the light region so okay so let's talk about this gadget this gadget is very tiny and it has few components let me tell you the components and the major thing is the battery supply over here this is a 9 volt battery and definitely I, I, I should use some uh, like a voltage converter I, I'm using here 7805 IC to convert 9 volts into 5 volts then after this I, when the 5 volts is ready then i'm giving this 5 volts to this module and the v in pin and ground pin okay, all right and i have used the buzzer over here this is the buzzer this is the buzzer and this is the light so buzzer and light also needs the 5 volt signal so i'm giving the 5 volts in those two, two things also so three components this one this one and this one are getting and directly 5 volts and I am using these two transistors as a switch over here to derive this LED and this uh, buzzer because if I feed the output of this sensor directly to this light and buzzer then the light would work the buzzer will not work this I have already checked because the output pin is giving 3.3 volts and the low current that is not enough to drive these two things simultaneously that's why I'm I'm suggesting you to use these two transistors to derive these two things you know you just do one thing that output of this module just connect this output to the base of the transistors and then collector and emitter become uh, when there's a signal on the base then collector emitter becomes short and you know this light and buzzer will become 
operational so this is how it works and it's quite simple to use it's quite simple to make if you want to prepare it you can just prepare it within half an hour and the, let's talk about the cost the cost is like if you are even in usa or somewhere you can just if you are paying in dollars so you within five dollars you can just prepare it at your home if you are living in pakistan india you can just prepare it within 500 rupees or 500, 600 rupees maximum this alone would definitely inform other people that uh, somebody is watching you when there's an alarming signal for the person who is not authorized to enter in your home so this is uh, uh, this helps in your privacy this helps in your security so you can use anywhere in your office you can use you can place it anywhere in your room or you can attach it with your car somewhere if like somebody is coming near to your car touching it that definitely it would definitely alarm so it can be used and it has so many applications it can be used so many places doppler shift uh, frequency microwave sensor it works behind the wall it works behind the glass and the you know waves can pass through these thing materials the most and this feature is not available here in the pir sensor as i have already told you the pir sensor doesn't work on that because the pir sensor is working in the line of sight like in particular direction it doesn't work in all directions secondly the pir signals cannot pass through the walls pir signals can uh, the signals cannot pass through the glass also if is if there's anything uh, like between the object like any plastic between the object and the sensor then definitely it would not work but this sensor is amazing so in this particular video i talked about this particular gadget in the next video i would come up definitely with a new idea with the new circuit with the new things so till then bye bye